There is something truly special about slow cooking this recipe for spicy pork cashel that brings out the best in every ingredient. The long, gentle cooking process melts flavours and tenderises meat, resulting in an irresistibly rich and tender pork cashel that's bursting with flavours and melt in your mouth textures. Hi, I'm nutritionist Scott Bapti and welcome back to my Food for Fitness kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious, rich and flavoursome casserole in your slow cooker. This recipe is a symphony of exotic and bold ingredients that come together in a perfect harmony. The foundation of the dish starts off with the bold flavours of garlic and ginger. We're going to add plenty of onions, and then there's that unique flavour from the star anise. The addition of the sriracha chilli flakes gives us a nice fiery kick and it just complements the pork loin fillet which is going to fall apart when you slow cook it. One of the most appealing aspects of this slow cooker pork cashel is just how easy it is to do. We're going to prep the ingredients, fry a couple of them, bung them in the slow cooker, lid on, leave it and that's it. Right, ready and go? Let's do it. First thing to do is to chop up your pork loin fillet into cubes. If you can't get a pork loin fillet, you could do it with medallion steaks or just lean pork steaks, but you should be able to get the pork fillet in most of the supermarkets and it's a pretty cost effective and lean cut of meat. I really like cooking with it. Once you've chopped up the pork, slice two onions. I'm using white onions and try and make it reasonably finely sliced. If you've only got red, that's fine, but just use what you've got, you're covered. And then once you've prepped the onions and pork, you're going to heat a star anise in some oil. I'm using coconut oil on a medium to high heat and you essentially fry that for about 30 seconds. This just infuses the oil and gets some of the flavor, that licorice taste from the star anise into the oil. At this point, please do like the video and subscribe if you're a new follower. And then once the oil is ready, add those onions and you want to fry those onions for about five minutes or so, maybe less, maybe more, depending on how hot your wok is. But you want to fry them until they start to turn translucent and start to go nicely golden brown. Throughout the whole cooking stage, you're going to keep that star anise in it. It's just going to keep releasing flavor, but make sure you take it out when you serve the food. There's nothing worse than biting into it. It's like biting into a cardamom pot, it's horrible. Then add your garlic and ginger. As always, I'm using a combined paste just for convenience and I'll put a link to the one that I use in the description below. It's just really easy and saves with faffing around. You don't have to peel garlic and ginger and so on. Just all in one paste, super easy. Anyway, fry your garlic and ginger for about 30 seconds and then that's it. You're just going to tip all of that into your slow cooker. To that, you're going to add the chopped up pork loin fillet along with a tablespoon of corn flour, that's about 15 grams, that just helps thicken everything, along with a tablespoon of soy sauce, light or dark, doesn't really make a huge difference for this recipe, and a tablespoon of fish sauce. If you are really fussy and you really can't stand fish sauce, just put in another tablespoon of soy sauce instead, and a tablespoon of sriracha chili flakes. If you can get sriracha, normal chili flakes will be an okay substitute. Then add a teaspoon of honey, that's just to give it a little bit of sweetness, along with 250 ml of stock. I'm using chicken, but you could use beef or vegetable. Again, not that important. Along with a good few grinds of the black pepper mill. Once all your ingredients are in the slow cooker, just get in there, mix it all up, and then you've got two options for cooking it. If you cook it on low, you want to cook it for about seven to eight hours. But I normally, well recently, I prefer cooking things on medium. So I cook this on medium for about four to five hours, stirring a couple of times during that process to make sure nothing sticks. And there we go, that's it. And look at that, the star anise is just floating on top, easily to be picked out. Then you're going to plate it up. This recipe goes really well with rice, but then garnish with some chopped coriander and a squeeze of lime. So there we have it, another delight from the slow cooker, smelling great, looking great, and I'm looking forward to having this for my dinner tonight. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you are a regular viewer, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe before you go. And once you make this, leave me a comment to let me know how you found it and if you had to modify the spice level or not, because it is quite fiery, but I love spicy food, so it's absolutely fine for me. Anyway, I'm off to go eat this. Thanks again for watching. I'll speak to you soon.